Hello and welcome friends. Championship Wrestling on the air. I'm your host Gilbert Corsi coming to you from the United World Headquarters saying thanks for being here for the hour. You know, through the years, you've come to know the United Wrestling Network as a place that showcases the very best in professional wrestling from all over the world. So over the next couple of weeks, our programming is going to double down on that. We are going to dedicate it to introducing you to new in-ring competitors, the people you need to look out for in the future. Recently, we announced a relationship with Booker T's Reality of Wrestling and Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling promoted by the Dusty Rhodes Foundation. So here now with more on TCW is Executive Vice President Teal Rhodes. How's everybody doing tonight? Should I do the, what do you guys want to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> um, just really quickly, I'm Teal Rhodes. I'm so excited to be here tonight. It is an honor and a privilege to reintroduce Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling from my home state of Georgia. We've got a great show for you guys tonight. I hope you enjoy the matches. We've got something for you on the screen here. Thank you guys. Exciting things happening down in Atlanta. Now onto this week. You will see the fear Jacob Fatu from Reality of Wrestling in action, plus a blockbuster all-star tag team spectacular. And we're going to get things started with a match from TCW featuring a United Wrestling favorite and AEW star, Carly Bravo. <laughs> Introducing first, the Mexican rock star, Barry Morales! Well, we've cer certainly seen a lot of Barry Morales over the years. He's a trainer at the Nightmare Factory, somewhere around 14 years experience, well-traveled. It's exciting to see him here. Absolutely it is, and of course, he's gonna have his hands full here. You saw that great video package, getting a little background on his opponent here tonight, Carly Bravo. Absolutely, this is fantastic. And I'll tell you what, talk about somebody who can go in the ring. It's Barry Morales, who again, has been all over the wrestling world. He can be nice, he can be mean, he can have death matches. He is very, very versatile. And tonight he's going to provide an amazing challenge for his opponent. Up next, representing the infantry, he is Bad News with Tattoos, Carly Bravo! saw his very first match at the Nightmare Factory. And he's one third of the infantry, of course, flanked by one of the members, the Captain John Dean. It's bad news and tattoos, TV. It's Carly Bravo. It is bad news and tattoos. And not only did we get to see his first match, but his first match was in the first main event in time one of the student showcase here in the Nightmare Factory. It's crazy to think just how far he has come in just a couple of years. Literally going from the Nightmare Factory to the world. And I'm talking about Ring of Honor. I'm talking about being elite. This is who Carly Bravo is. And now he's part of uh, an amazing group known as the Infantry. Of course, it's the Captain Sean D and Trisha Dora. Man, what a matchup this is going to be here. And our first show back, our relaunch yeah. of TCW. Carly Bravo taking on Barry Morales, man. This is going to be amazing. And you know, one of the cool things when it comes to Carly Bravo, we literally had Ooh. a Wow. Oh, wait well, a second. so much for that. Barry Morales throwing that flag right in the face of Bravo and on the early attack here. And you got to think, for somebody like Barry Morales, who, again, has been in this business uh, close to 15 years, he cannot be happy with the ascension of a Carly Bravo. Carly Bravo, in just a couple of years, has been to some places that Barry Morales has not been. Barry Morales is not on television weekly, and I think that's a chip that he wears on his shoulder right now. Ooh! Barry Morales ate that inverted atomic drop, and now su suplex there and a kip up from Carly Bravo. And I'm just going to tell you right now, these two are going to cook. They're gonna cook, and I promise you, it's gonna be something you're not going to want to miss. I'm really glad this is part of the relaunch of Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling. Absolutely, Morales got a face full of feet there from that drop kick, and now Carly Bravo laying those right hands in this crowd firmly behind bad news and tattoos here tonight. They absolutely are, and look at this. Oh, but, but. Morales with a rake to the eyes. 
Now, miss, uh, yeah, shotgun dropkick off that second turnbuckle. Now, Morales back on the advantage. Fari Morales is handling Carly Bravo <laughs> as though he were Cat Williams facing all of the comedians in the world right now. Fari Morales is not a happy camper. Bravo face first in that top turnbuckle. I gotta tell you, this crowd is really letting Morales have it. Well, they certainly are, and, and part of the reason why is Morales did not come in to be a gentleman. He came in to fight, and that kick had a lot of stink on it. Absolutely, he came in to win matches. And of course, we do have three big title matches coming up tonight, a tag title, a men's title, and a women's title for the Nightmare Factory Championships. Nice suplex there, pin attempt here from Barry Morales. So you gotta think, any guys in singles matches or tag matches, this would be a great way to uh, Earn your way up the rankings, if you will. Absolutely, you've got to imagine every single one of these matches count. They mean something, and you're right. You've got to think that the officials here at TCW are paying attention Ooh. to all of this, as again, they're starting to look at titles and rankings and all of the things, and a match like this is going to make a huge difference. These guys right here in front of us, as we're at the announce table in the corner, and now, Morales turning the tables now, laying the right hands. Carly Bravo in the corner. And Morales is living in this moment. He's not even rushing this. He's taking full advantage of putting the boots to bad news and tattoos. And he's absolutely soaking up the booze from this great crowd here at the Nightmare Factory. Meanwhile, Carly Bravo whipped into the turnbuckle there. there Brian Morales, oh! Wow. Almost like an inverted cannonball. As now Carly Bravo rolls through, eats a low clothesline there for Morales. And is that going to be enough? Going for a pin here, but just a two count. Vari Morales, again, a uh, grizzled veteran, dare we say, who would love nothing more than to get a massive win over Carly Bravo. Think about this. That win is going to automatically shoot him into the top of the conversation here at Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling. Great point, GP, is... You see Morales trying to slow down the pace and choke the air out of Bravo, but Bravo making his way back up to his feet with those back elbows into the gut of Morales. It's so interesting. Carly Bravo, uh -oh. who almost for the last year has spent time exclusively in tag team <laughs> wrestling, you've got to wonder, is, wow, is he more accustomed to that these days? And so is Ooh, he, lateral press, is he used on. to being able to, to make a tag where he can't do that in this scenario? That's a great point. Just another two count there. You saw like the, uh, the it's a little deceiving, the strength of Barry Morales, the way he planted Carly Woo! Bravo with that spine buster. Now these lethal kicks and chops from Barry Morales. Well, I'll tell you what isn't deceptive, and that is the aggressive nature there of Barry Morales, who put everything he had Ooh. behind that kick as well. Right with the teeth, but it just fired up Bravo. Bravo charges in, gets sent up over the top rope, out of the ring apron, and now, Rope first across the top rope goes Vera Morales. And this is some of what makes Carly Bravo special right there. Great move there with that flat liner there from Carly Bravo as he kips up. And now back with the advantage, Bravo feeling and feeding off of this crowd. Carly Bravo called that the rolling loud. And now he's looking to keep on rolling here in this matchup. Missing Morales. that clothesline. That's a clothesline, tilt a whirl up on the shoulder here. And a snake eyes in the corner from Bravo. Bravo into the ropes. And a big boot right to the teeth of Barry Morales. That boot had a lot behind it. And you can tell Carly Bravo is feeling this moment right now. Morales back up to his feet, now up on the shoulders. Gonna be time for eastbound and down. Got all of that one. As he just stuck the landing on Morales. Uh oh, wait. Could it be time for disrespect? And the disrespect in full force. And he there it is, Bravo, with a big win here tonight. And your winner, Carly Bravo! Carly Bravo cannot be stopped. What a massive win it is for him here in Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling over an incredibly well-traveled veteran, that being Mari Morales. What a great singles matchup. And of course, like I said, that's got to do something for the officials here to be able to look at Carly Bravo and maybe put him in a title contention here as we're going to crown our first ever champion here later tonight. There Absolutely. He is. My God. Yes, sir. What a moment it is. And again, how special is it for us to have been able to see match one and now seeing the ascension there of Carly Bravo. And I love seeing that he never travels alone these days. He's got the cap with him. Cap. No cap. You got that right. So special, man. Man, what a great match and what a great win for Carly Bravo. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. 
the camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy. He doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. because Jacob Batum only wants one thing, and that is to win that Reality of Wrestling Texas Championship so he can take it back home with him and gloat that he is the best wrestler in Texas. The Samoan Werewolf on full display at Christmas Chaos. Oh, wait a minute. Fatu had a new advisor. Oh no. And it looks like Booker T is really putting his managerial license to work. Well, we saw it just last week the events of Gaspar and Booker T. Do you think maybe this is just adding more firepower? Now that it looks like the Heat could possibly be in trouble, Brittany. I mean, the Heat may be in trouble, but obviously Booker T sees a better horizon ahead, and it's in Samoa with the Samoan werewolf. And it looks like he's about to, to talk, calm down, say something. Dude, calm down. I'm not here to cause any trouble tonight. Okay? I'm here for one reason and one reason only. Tonight I'm not a, I'm not a manager. I'm just an advisor. You see, the Samoan werewolf Jacob Fatu asked me to deliver a few words for the Road Nation tonight. And those words are directed at one ruthless Ryan Davidson. The Samoan Marvel wants you to know that he knows that she took the reality of wrestling championship and ran your poke ass all the way to Japan. Because you was running. You was high. Because you know, just like the werewolf knows, the next time he sees you, the same thing is going to happen. So right, run around in Rapunki in Japan. Go ahead and play your game. But when you show back up to reality of wrestling, one person will be waiting on you. And his name is Jacob. Now, as far as tonight goes, I know you people are anxious. I know you're ready to get this piece of business going. And we've dealt with this one piece of business before, so let's get right down to business. This is 
going to be one of the biggest matchups that we have ever seen in Christmas Chaos history. And trust me when I say it's not just because of the two guys that are about to share the ring here. And uh, I use share loosely. They're probably about to break it, Brad. Yeah, it is going to be an all-out battle in your main event here, week two of Christmas Chaos. Look, let's not bury the lead. Booker T is now the advisor of Jacob Fatu, the Samoan werewolf. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I'm worried the fact that I don't know if he decided to become his advisor just out of the fact that he has respect and sees so much potential in Jacob Fatu, or if he did it just to spite Edge Stone. This is dangerous either way. And Edge Stone probably is not pleased knowing that Booker T is going to be out here. We know that over the last few weeks, oh, Shane Stone have all his issues with Booker T and the Heat, and he already took his eyes off the prize, and Jacob Fatu is making him pay for it, Brittany. Pay for it, indeed, but Fatu, like you were saying before, Brad, he's focusing on Booker T being out here, but only Fatu needs any help as he's shown it to be devastating to anybody who is in the ring with him and outside the ring and around the arena and anywhere, honestly, that Jacob Fatu is. Jacob Fatu already taking control of this matchup in the early goings of this Whoa. contest. And so we now see the athleticism from Edge Stone. And if there's going to be one person that can match him, not only for power, but athleticism, it could very well be Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu right here in front of us, not happy, a little bit pissed off, if you will. I would, Booker, Booker T trying to calm him down. How did it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. Look at that. Down hard on the trapezius. Jacob Fatu is, is unlike anything that most people oh. will ever see. Edge Stone able to single leg him down there with a flapjack. The former reality of wrestling champion would love to get back up there and challenge once again, but oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Spun him like a top! Spun him like a top. That right there is the power of the Samoans. As Jacob Fatu somehow look at him just spun look out the former champion look at him he is a squared circle assassin the samoan werewolf oh no oh, oh. He sees a full moon the fangs are out and he is ready to feast upon edge stone Oh, no, Edge. 
Well, let's not forget that Jacob Fatu was literally one entrance away from capturing Reality of Wrestling gold just a few years ago in the last stand. And that man was Ryan Davidson. And he has had a target on the back of Ryan ever since. We saw that match of the night we alluded to earlier at the Summer of Champions for 1,100 people. Some members of the Fatu family there to watch the agony that both Ryan Davidson and Jacob Fatu put themselves through. And if this is what Fatu is willing to do to Edge Stone, what he's planning for Ryan Davidson in the future, I, I don't even want to think about it. Not just willing, but able to. He's yes. able to do this to Edge Stone, which is something we've never seen anybody do. Jacob Fatu, I was going to say, able to just continue in this matchup. Oh, oh, sending statements to the Texas champion. A right hand right there from Jacob Fatu that would have crippled most individuals who came into contact with such an irresistible force. Oh, and, look and at this. again. Stone is just being manhandled right now and is being pieced apart by the Samoan werewolf. The absolute pain on Stone's face. He's got to do something. It only takes a little bit of pressure to break that collarbone. But now Stone drawing the power from the Roe Nation, helping him get try to get back up to a vertical base. Only one knee right now. And look at that. Jacob Fatu just continues to apply more pressure and crumbles him back down, Brittany. Jacob is locked. Uh, he's not letting go at any time soon. Booker T is elated. And you've got to imagine what Gaspar is feeling in the back right now. As I know for a fact that he, he's watching this matchup, possibly adding more firepower to the heat. With the likes oh, of Jacob oh, oh, Fatu. Oh, Fire. Oh, Firepower indeed. The slaps, the chops, the kicks. Look at that. Edge Stone just looks spent and completely out of his element, which is not something I thought I'd ever see. men have been through a war thus far. But maybe that DDT was enough to give Stone a little bit of time to try and recover. As sometimes that's all you need, Brittany. Just, you just need that one moment to stun your opponent to get back into the driver's seat. As it looks oh. like Edge Stone is trying to do just that. This could be it. Oh! And now Stone oh, runs right into the big boot there from Jacob Fatu. That's more of like a big foot. Oh my gosh. That's a mythical creature. <laughs> so is a Samoan werewolf, but yet we see one in front of our very eyes. As now Stone, once again, taking a look at Booker T. Could that be all there? Into the cover. One, two, three. Oh, oh man, right there at the last hair. I really thought that that was it. comes Jacob Fatu oh, in all no. gears. Oh. oh, good night, sweet prince. Well, what did that take out of Fatu? That's got to be it. Two, two. And no, two and a half. Oh. Two and a half. Oh, our, our referee, MJ Bell, actually almost fell 
Palmer himself running towards ringside to, to say no, it's two, as it was so close. He had to make sure. He had to, he had to almost talk himself into that <laughs> being a two. Yeah. Dueling Fatu and Stone Chance, a familiar atmosphere every time we see the Samoan Werewolf. You have to appreciate the great strength and power that is Jacob Fatu. And look at that, oh, a big power bar from the former world champ. Bowing the ring there with the power. And I was going to say you shouldn't headbutt a Samoan, but X going up to the shoulder there with that headbutt. And now that clothesline connected and it flipped out. The Samoan Werewolf into the cover for the victory, too. Oh, oh. Two and a half. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Booker T outside the ring having heart palpitations. Oh, hold on, hold on. He's grabbing a hold of the foot right there. Booker T once again making his presence felt in this matchup. Oh. His shoelace was untied. Now super kick after super kick. And now pop. Oh. Look at that falling over him. Is that Samoan werewolf? And then he's gonna go for oh, that. No! Oh! Gosh! Holy crap! Can he capitalize? Going into the cover. Oh, two. One, two, three. That's it. Fatu picks up the victory here against Ed Stone, but with a question mark attached to it as we saw the interruption from Booker T against Ed Stone. Well, it doesn't matter, honestly, who is beside Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu is a force all of his own, and we saw that here tonight. My God. An incredible match to a main event. Week two of Christmas chaos, and the Samoan werewolf was quite literally the nightmare before Christmas for Ed Stone. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices the camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through CarShield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out-of-warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through CarShield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy. He doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. An eight-man tag with a lot of interesting stories to be told. Look at what we see here. We see Sunny Days along with Owen Knight. We see Duncan Mitchell. We also see Adam Priest. And there, the gentleman in the blazer uh, is connected to Adam Priest. He is Matt Griffin. And uh, this ought to be quite the matchup here. Absolutely. All four of these guys, mainstays throughout the Southeast independent wrestling scene. 
put together tonight as they take on the TCW All-Stars. We've got some originals here, GB, and this one's gonna be a fun one. And our big main event here at the TCW Relaunch. This is going to be very special, and you've gotta think, it's kind of like a battle of generations, dare I say. Absolutely. You know, you've gotta think, especially here in 2024, there is this youth movement. There are so many people who wanna be considered the now and the next, and they kinda want yesterday to kinda stay where it was, will that play out here tonight in this battle uh, between this amazing team and the TCW All-Stars? Oh, wait a second, Griffin's grabbed the microphone. We want to congratulate everybody here on a successful return of Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling. Matt Griffin has never met a mic he doesn't like. I am the CEO, Matt Griffin, and I have the privilege of bringing you the four brightest stars in wrestling today. And although this has been a great, great night, it's going to end on a sour note for the All-Stars and QT Marshall. Enjoy your evening. And their opponents. He is a member of the Nightmare Family, Q.T. Marshall! Well, this is going to be extremely Luther, burn in love, big. Oh, how about that? Burn Luther in love. Biggs. And listen to the music, TV. He's a hunk of hunk of burn in love. Absolutely. Luther Biggs has spent some time, of course, in the original Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling, wrestling the founder of this company, Dusty Rhodes. He's been all over the wrestling world, the USWA, TNA, of course, WCW. It is amazing. All right, all right, all right. Of course, we're going to call it Barrett Square. Sorry about that, folks. We're being hollered at here off camera by Adam Priest. But what an amazing moment it is to see uh, a hunk, a hunk of burn in love, Luther Biggs, who happens to be a movie star as well. He is a former WCW Tag Team Champion, a member of the flock. He is Scotty Riggs. Scotty Riggs looking in great shape. We saw him a few years ago. We've seen him get back in this incredible ring shape. Scotty Riggs, you heard our great ring announcer, Matt G there, mentioned he's a member of the flock, a former member of the flock. He's also a former member of the American Males, as you can hear. Absolutely. And here comes Scotty Riggs. Not just that, but he holds a lot of history here in Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling. We're talking about a guy who once held the uh, Turnbuckle Championship, my God, tag team titles. Look at this guy. He's also the only man in the history of this company to be a three-time Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. He is the fabric of this company, and he looks in, in incredible shape. You're right, GB, as you mentioned, a former TCW champ, former TCW tag team champ. And former it, WCW former tag team champ. Absolutely, and of course, man, looking in such great shape. Get this crowd into it, clapping along to the American Males theme song. I love it. It's amazing. And their final partner, hailing from the netherworld, he is Glacier! I believe the phrase is blood runs cold. Absolutely, man. And it's running super cold here. 
as we see the return of a man who has a very interesting distinction when it comes to the history of turnbuckle championship wrestling. We're talking about the first man to ever hold the turnbuckle championship wrestling title, heavyweight championship. He's also the last man to hold that same championship. He is Glacier. And look at this. Wherever he goes, it always snows. It's, How does he do that? Yeah, it's snowing in here all of a sudden. This is incredible. I mean, it is that time of year, but still. And you're right. Not a whole mean, lot of snow in Atlanta. Glacier winning the inaugural championship back in 2000, holding the final championship in 2003, and now he's here for the return of TCW. This is absolutely incredible. And not only does he have a deep connection with TCW, he's also got a deep connection with the Nightmare Factory as well, being one of the former coaches of a lot of the students we saw wrestling here earlier tonight. Absolutely, there's an awful lot of respect that runs deep for Glacier. And you gotta wonder what this is going to do. I mean, you, you think about it. In theory, it's a great idea to want to fight the All-Stars, but when they're standing in front of you, all of this history right here, what do you think has to be going through the mind of incredible folks like uh, 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 Duncan, for instance, Duncan Mitchell, who is uh, the who's spent the less amount of time in this business amongst those four across the ring. Well, you know, I hope he would not be listening to somebody like Matt Griffin, and I hope he would soak up some of this uh, the ring time with these legends right here, because this is like this is a great class to be a part of right now to get in here with these legendary wrestlers. You soak it all in. You know what I mean? You could make the argument that we are looking at the Mount Rushmore of Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling all in the ring at the same time. What a moment this is. But now the question is this. It's not 2000, it's not 2002, it's 2024. What can the All-Stars do? We're about to find out. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call car shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through CarShield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out-of-warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through CarShield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy. He doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. And it looks like QT Marshall might be starting things out against Adam Priest. Now they call Adam Priest any style. He can, he can fly high, he can be technical, he can brawl with the best of them. He can do it all, folks. I will tell you, Adam Priest screamed at us and wanted us to call it fairly. What he doesn't seem to understand is, I'm a big fan of his work. He is one of the best wrestlers in the world right now, bar none. And I want the whole world to be able to get to see him. Now, his attitude leaves a lot to be desired, but I'll tell you what, he gets it done in the ring. There's a collar and elbow lock up there. Adam Priest into the side headlock on QT Marshall. And to your point, GP, it's ever since he kind of linked up with Matt Griffin. You know, we've seen him in other spaces, and, and I'm like you, I've always been a fan of his work. But ever since he link, linked up with Griffin, and as you see him on the outside next to Griffin, it's, uh, yeah, his attitude has changed. It certainly has. It's been a lot easier to dislike him, <laughs> it's dare I say. Absolutely. And you've got to wonder, you know, as these fans begin cheering for QT Marshall. QT looking for a test of strength. Instead, he eats a boot right to the midsection and back into the set he side headlock goes Adam Priest. And I'll tell you what, one thing that I would not want to do is get into a test of strength right now. Look at that deep oh, arm drag man. there from QT Marshall. Great move there for QT. 
And we talked about Scotty Riggs being in the best shape of his life. QT Marshall, you mentioned earlier, the best shape we have ever seen him in. Absolutely. He's got the accolades to prove it. Certainly. Championships all over. And I was going to say, the trip, he just recently won the AAA Latin American Championship, which he held for several months there. And uh, we've seen him in the best shape of his life. But here's a guy who many of us, we've seen a long time. Owen Knight, many have called this man one of the most underrated wrestlers in the Southeast. But now he's going against Scotty Riggs, who, my God, look at the shape that Scotty Riggs is in. This is incredible, and this is kind of, I mean, you know, you would think, oh, and nah, I'm trying to listen here because you see, hear some trash talk here from Scotty Riggs. But this has got to be pretty cool for Owen Knight to step in there with the legendary Riggs right now. Absolutely. Scotty Riggs is somebody who, you know, we've all watched on television. To have him right here is amazing. I feel like, Cher, if I could turn back time, <laughs> that's kind of the moment we're in because Scotty Riggs, as we mentioned, the only three-time Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. But look at that. You want to talk about somebody with accolades. Owen Knight has won multiple championships in universes we've traveled in. This is amazing to see these two men lock it up, which I think is a first time ever. Absolutely. And of course, Owen Knight there was mocking Scotty Riggs. A lock up now and a, a big hip toss there from Owen Knight. Owen Knight showing off his strength. Owen Knight, war ready, known in some circles as the working team captain. In other places, he works for himself. But I'll tell you what. Did, did, did he just say that Scotty Riggs was little? I don't know about that. It looks Scotty like... Riggs looks rather, follow me here, buff. Hey, I see what you did there. <laughs> but you're right, Riggs looks a little bigger than Owen Knight there. Owen Knight just trying to talk some trash. Again, I think these, these four in the near corner here taking a little too much advice from Matt Griffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coming out here with this attitude. Oh, what a drop kick, are you kidding me? From the legendary Scotty Riggs, a picture perfect drop kick to Owen Knight. Hashtag, you still got it. And this crowd. And now things get interesting. Oh, man, the monster. Sunny Days has now been tagged into this matchup. Sun and Sunny Days is such a peculiar competitor. People just can't seem to figure him out. Yeah, we can't seem to figure him out. And You've look, known him for five wait, years. Wait. Oh, wow. Now, GP, let's go back to the very first double or nothing at All Elite Wrestling. The first ever Casino Battle Royale. Sunny Days, Glacier, both men were in that match. Yes. Glacier spit the froze, frozen mist. Mm -hmm. He froze Sunny Days, eliminating him from that Casino Battle Royale. And here we are, what, four years later? Yeah. And we're going to see a little maybe come up and at least if Sunny Days has anything to say about well, it. Think about the opportunities that this cost Sunny Days. I mean, it, it look, Sunny Days is, is, is struggling right now he, just thinking about he's it. He's tormented. He's been thinking about it for four years. He certainly has. And now's his opportunity to get a little vengeance. You know, Sunny Days has been wondering what opportunities have he has he missed since being eliminated, of course, from Double or Nothing. What could have happened in his career had he not encountered Glacier in that moment? Now's his first. First opportunity for comeuppance. Man, talk about coming full circle. How about this? Who would have put it on their bingo card, GB, that we'd see these guys in 2024 at Turnbuckle Championship Wrestling? I'm telling you, the unpredictability of 2024 lives yet again. And there is Glacier continuing to freeze out all things sunny days. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-461-2347. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. 
Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. And now Glacier has a plan here. And this crowd is eating it up. The crowd is so firmly behind Glacier right now, the legendary Glacier with those chops to the arm of sunny days. You know, and I wonder how many people in this particular arena right now Ooh. happen to have been here when Glacier held the Turnbuckle Championship. Uh, how many of them were here when he held the heavyweight title here in this company? How many were here when they watched him on TV Ooh. and all of those kinds of things? How many brought their children to be a part of this moment? Oh, man, the double chop right to the chest takes Sunny Days down. And Glacier, man, he is looking great. Absolutely. And you got to realize how much history we're looking at. You've got to know that we don't know the next time we'll get to see some of these all-stars in a ring, let alone together, as they are here tonight. Duncan Mitchell, the youngest man out of uh, all eight competitors here, in here with the legendary Glacier. And now Glacier gonna pick up with Dun Duncan right where he left off with Sonny. You know, the irony of this, Duncan Mitchell is a product of the Nightmare Factory. Glacier served as one of his coaches, but now we get to the movie star. We get to the hunk of hunk of burning love, Luther Biggs, who right here in this company took on the founder, Dusty Rhodes, about 20 years ago. Now he takes on Duncan Mitchell, center of the ring, takes him down with that arm drag. You know what amazes me about these legends? These legends have forgotten more than these new stars will remember. Absolutely, and they make it look so easy with that mat return there to Duncan Mitchell. Vernon Love just, look, just kind of like playing with him right now. They don't look like they've missed a single step. And that side, oh, it's penitent here. No, but it's Duncan Mitchell's foot was on the ropes. Great ring awareness there by Duncan Mitchell. My goodness. Face first, right in the turnbuckle right here in front of us. And now things get interesting. Adam Priest, oh, but. We're back to square one, right where we started here. Adam Priest coming back in against QT Marshall. And I'm very interested in seeing these two lock up yet again. What a night this has been. What an honor it's been to be a part of this night here. And QT, oh. oh QT boy. trying to get a handshake this time, but again, not gonna work as he catches that shot. From Priest, but Priest eating a couple shots here from QT Marshall. Marshall gonna send him across, gets reversed, oh and a knee to the spine from Sunny Days to Marshall, but he takes down Sunny on the outside. Uh oh. Woo. Oh, a release German. He landed high on the back of his neck. Pit attempt here. Woo -hoo -hoo, man. That bad boy was like a kid in play fade. It was high and tight. Absolutely high on the back of QT's neck. And now Priest gonna tag in Owen Knight. Owen Knight gonna take over on the right arm of QT Marshall. And this is the space that Owen Knight likes to be in Ooh. when the when when the pace is quickening. And Ooh, he can here. Hang on. Just a two count. You know, it's interesting, 2024 is an Olympic year, and this team right now reminds me of a great relay race, a four by 400 or four by 100, where they're passing the baton and keeping the momentum going. With that said, in comes Duncan Mitchell. Yeah, this young team, these four guys that I never would have imagined teaming together are uh, forming quite the uh, foursome here. Yeah, they certainly are. Oh, oh man, QT Marshall gets nearly taken out of his boots there with that lariat from Duncan Mitchell. And now, could that be it? Can you imagine Duncan Mitchell oh. getting the pin over QT Marshall? And he almost had it. He was a split second away before QT got that left shoulder up. And now, look at the joint manipulation Duncan Mitchell working on the fingers of his coach, QT Marshall. And I wonder what kind of conversation happened at, oh, oh my oh, oh, God! Mercy, what a shot there from QT. Oh, 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 oh. My goodness. And a back elbow there from Owen Knight out of the ring apron from Marshall. QT Marshall hoping to get over to the corner of the TCW All-Stars, but it's not to be as of right now, and in comes Sonny Day. The monster back in the ring now. We have seen these guys collide before, whether it's been in Rumble matches in other companies or various other places. Sunny Days, one, oh, wow. 
I don't know if our, did our cameras catch that. Matt Griffin on the outside taking a cheap shot at QT. And here it is. This four on four is almost a five on four at this particular moment with one Matt Griffin on the outside. Yeah, you can't forget about Griffin out there. Sunny Day is getting some momentum. Oh, Big huge. cross body there. Yeah, huge splash. Oh, and Riggs. Riggs in there to bring it up just in time. Riggs had to do that because can you imagine these All-Stars returning and losing on this relaunch here? I don't know if they can handle that. It Meanwhile, like, a tag, yeah. and it looks like Adam Priest is on his way back in the ring. Priest is going to fly. I told you he can do any style as he went up high for that elbow drop, but nobody home. QT, the veteran, able to get out of the way just in time. And now can Marshall make it over to his corner? He looks like he's headed toward the wrong corner he's right now. the wrong way. Not sure where he is. As you see Priest trying to prevent him from making that tag to the All-Stars. Adam Priest bringing Marshall back. Oh, but there's a tag. The hunk of burning love has come in. Here comes Biggs, Luther Biggs with a Larian for Sonny, a Larian for Owen, and where's one for Duncan as well? Here comes Mr. Biggs. How you doing, Mr. Biggs? Do you know that one? I don't know I that figured one. There, wouldn't. There's a big chop to Sonny, and now all hell is breaking loose here at TCW. It has gone crazy right now. We've got an referee. Absolute, an absolute Donnie Brook, and the referee goes down. Oh boy. Not what the All-Stars needed, and things are getting a little crazy. What's Matt Griffin doing on the ring apron now? He's Griffin, not even in, the, he's in the ring now. Griffin's not even in this match, but the referee's down, so Griffin's in there laying boots to Luther Biggs. Wait, Griff, Griffin is motioning towards QT Marshall, saying, I want him. Griffin directing traffic now, calling Sunny Days to pick up Marshall. Oh boy. And Griffin now losing the blazer. What's he got in mind here? What in the world? This is ridiculous. It's yeah. totally ridiculous. Why take this moment right now? If anybody. Oh wait, oh. wait, wait, the lights just went out. The lights have gone out here at the Nightmare Factory. What's going on here? I know we paid the power bill. What is this? What in the world? I can't quite. I can't I, quite I make out what we have. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? It's, 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 the, it's the Yeti. The Yeti. The Yeti is here. Where did the Yeti come from? I haven't seen the Yeti in how many years? Oh, my God. The Yeti has Matt Griffin goozled up. This is massive. Oh, he got him. Unbelievable choke slam. The Yeti is here. The Yeti. With the elbow, look at this. Where did they find the Yeti? Bionic elbows from the Yeti, are you kidding me?